everyone, it's Natalie, and today we are going to be trying four delicious breakfast recipes for fall. Well, I'm hoping they're delicious. I haven't tried them yet, but they sound really good. We're going to be making carrot muffins, apple pie overnight oats, pumpkin waffles, and a squash and sausage egg bake. So I'm really excited. I've got a few hours cut out just to cook and to watch some YouTube because that's kind of how I like relax on weekend mornings. Plus, I'm really glad that you guys picked this subject for my first Vlogtober episode because my breakfasts since I started back to working out of the house have been really sad and pathetic. So <laughs> I'm glad to have some really delicious breakfasts this week to try. I did get four us um you can see i've got all my groceries behind me i got us some pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls to make right now because i don't know how long these other recipes are going to make and it's already after 9 a.m and we need some breakfast my husband is still sleeping upstairs along with toaster so i'm sure they'll be down soon so i want to have something waiting for them and then i can have a full stomach while i'm working on these other recipes that we'll eat later in the week. Well, anyway, I'm gonna tell you how to make them. I'm gonna have the recipes linked and I'm gonna tell you how they taste. So let's go ahead and get started. So while we're getting the kitchen cleaned up, I wanted to share how I'm participating in Vlogtober this year. Each Friday in October, I'm releasing a bonus video with your input. Head to my Instagram stories each Friday to vote on the content that you want to see the following week. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know down below. These Vlogtober videos are going to premiere each Friday at 12 p.m. Central Time. So come join us for the next one so we can hang out and chat. I'm also giving away a $15 Starbucks gift card each week. All you need to do is make sure you're one of the first people to comment on the Vlogtober videos and you're entered to win. I will randomly select a winner at 2 p.m. Central Time after the video has been posted, so make sure to enter early. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Natalie. I'm a 28-year-old wife, dog mom, and elementary school teacher. I love to organize and clean, and I've been decluttering my house like crazy this year. Welcome to my channel, and if you're loving the content, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any videos. All right, now that all the details are out of the way, let's get to cooking. First things first, I'm going to get these cinnamon rolls in the oven. And while they aren't one of our recipes today, I'm definitely going to recommend these pumpkin cinnamon rolls as a fall breakfast because they're easy and delicious. Let's start with these apple pie overnight oats. This recipe is courtesy of my friend Kristen. She says they're really good and she even wrote down her recipe exactly how she does it just for us. So I'll have it linked down below. So all you need for these overnight oats are apples, quick oats, honey, uh, Greek yogurt, almond milk, chia seeds, and then apple, apple pie spice, but I don't have apple pie spice, so I got, I just have cinnamon and nutmeg that, that can be substituted for it. So I'm sure if you wanna change out anything, different kinds of milk, uh, you know, it, omit the chia seeds, you can do that. You only need half of an apple to make one serving, but we're gonna go ahead and make them for the whole week. If you have any amazing fall recipes you want to share, breakfast or not, make sure to share them with us down below. 
I'm particularly interested in great Instant Pot recipes since this will be the first fall that we have an Instant Pot. So don't hold back, spill all your secrets. Now that my apples are prepped, I have them already divided between four containers so that I can just stir and go. First, add one third cup of quick cooking oats. Then add one third cup of unsweetened almond milk or your preferred milk. Next, add a half a cup of honey-flavored Greek yogurt. And Kristen noted that you can just draw an X on the top of the yogurt to perfectly portion it into four one-third cup parts. And I should have just done that. Then add one teaspoon of chia seeds. Finally, add a pinch of apple pie spice, or in my case, cinnamon and nutmeg. Then you can just stir things up and refrigerate overnight. Now next time I would make this in the larger square containers because it was tricky stirring it in my smaller round ones. Or you could just quadruple the portions and make one large bowl. I tried them the next day at work and they were absolutely delicious. I will definitely make this recipe again. At this point, the cinnamon rolls were done, so I had to get them out and have a little snack before starting on the second recipe. overnight oats are in the fridge. Our oven's already heated up, so I wanna get something in the oven. So we're gonna do these carrot muffins. Now these are healthier because they do use wheat flour and applesauce to, I'm guessing, replace what otherwise would be oil. So here's what you need. You need butter, applesauce, honey, and while I have this honey out, see how this is like suctioned in like this? If you want to save your honey from crystallizing, what you need to do is when once you like squeeze it out, set it down, let it settle, and then squeeze it. And as you're squeezing it, close the lid. It'll keep it suctioned and keep some of that air out. There's a tip for you. Okay, you need carrots. We're gonna grate these, whole wheat flour, egg, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So let's get these mixed up and in the oven. I am very excited for these. I was very careful not to choose only pumpkin recipes for this fall breakfast video. I wanted to include a variety of fall flavors for you guys. And don't forget that if you're watching this within the first couple of hours, comment below to win a $15 Starbucks gift card. And if you're watching this too late to enter, don't worry, I'll be back next Friday, October 16th with a new video and another chance to win. In a large bowl, combine one egg, one cup of applesauce, half a cup of honey, and a quarter cup of melted butter, then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. In another bowl, combine one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cinnamon, which I'm now realizing I just did a teaspoon, oops, and a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Add 
add half of the flour mixture to the wet mixture and stir. Then add the carrots and stir again. Finally, add the remaining dry mixture. Even without the insane amount of cinnamon I forgot, the batter still smelled really good. These muffins bake on 350 for 22 to 25 minutes. And the muffins came out perfect, even without all that cinnamon. They were delicious, and I would definitely recommend the recipe. So while those muffins are in the oven, I'm gonna start on my egg bake so I can hopefully get it in right after. So of course we're gonna need eggs, milk, I got turkey sausage just to be a little healthier, garlic, salt and pepper, an onion. This is a, I don't know, I've never used this kind of squash before, but that's what I recommended. It did not have the peppers that it called for, which were the Fresno chili. So this is a, I think, sir, Reno or something like that, <laughs> mozzarella cheese and olive oil. So I'm gonna get this whipped up real quick so it can go in the oven when the muffins are done. This was my first time cutting a delicata squash. I, I don't even know how to say it. Apparently I also said the Serrano, Serrano pepper wrong. I usually cook pretty basic stuff. Um, I would absolutely use this squash again though as it was super easy to cut. First, toss the squash with olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. Then add to a baking dish and roast at 475 for about 10 minutes. Combine the Fresno or chili pepper, one clove of garlic, half a pound of sausage torn into chunks, half of an onion sliced, which I realized mine had gone bad, more olive oil, salt, and pepper. Return to the oven and roast another 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, whisk 10 eggs, one cup of milk, and one and a quarter cup of cheese into a bowl. I used mozzarella cheese and it came out so tasty. Reduce the oven temperature to 350 degrees and pour the egg mixture into the baking dish. I love that this recipe used just one cooking dish and that I didn't have to pre-cook the sausage on the stove. Bake for about 10 to 15 minutes or until there's a slight wobble in the center and the edges are pooling away. Mine actually took about 20 minutes to set fully.
This turned out super cheesy and delicious, and I really loved the taste of the squash. I would definitely make this egg bake again. Lastly, we are finally going to make something with pumpkin. I am the most excited about this recipe because it is pumpkin waffles. I will probably add chocolate chips. I see that I don't have them here yet, but I probably will. So we need whole wheat flour, our pumpkin puree, honey, butter, eggs, milk, salt, baking soda, and baking powder, vanilla extract, and then our spices are going to be allspice, cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. And then I've got my waffle iron, and I'm gonna use the Mickey one because we have a regular one, but this one is the best. So let's get this mixed up quickly. The egg bake is cooling so we can taste test it. And we're gonna have some delicious waffles. I guess it's gonna be our lunch now. First, heat two tablespoons of butter, then add one cup of pumpkin puree and combine. And by the way, what do y'all do with the extra pumpkin puree when you have a recipe that uses less than a can? I have no idea what to do with the rest. Then add three eggs, two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, whisk in two and three quarters cup of milk. Then comes all of the spices, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of allspice, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, as well as two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. And yes, it's a lot. Finally, whisk in two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. Now the recipe says white whole wheat flour, but I was unable to find that at our local store. This smells so good. I'm gonna let it sit for a second because sometimes you're supposed to do that. I think I'm gonna try one without chocolate chips just to like get a sense of the flavor and then we'll probably add chocolate chips. We love chocolate chips, but. This is gonna be so good. Um, so there are a lot of ingredients to this pancake mix and or waffle mix. And we like to make waffles on the weekend a lot. And I have some pumpkin left over, probably not enough for another one. But I feel like if you, if I like this, it would be a really good idea to just have some little like containers with the seasonings already mixed in there and the dry ingredients just to make it a lot easier on the weekend. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not really like a from scratch cooker all the time, but this has been really fun to try these different things. Anyway, so there's a suggestion if you just want to keep it like packaged, ready to go, almost as easy as Bisquick, but all right, let's try this. If you're looking for even more delicious recipes, make sure to follow me on Pinterest. My link is down below. I pin almost everything that I cook to these boards and I'm always trying new things. I found it hard at first to figure out how long to cook these waffles. I think since the batter was already dark, I was mistaking the color for it being cooked. When I started setting a six minute timer for each waffle, they came out much better. So the verdict on these waffles was that they tasted really good, but I was not wowed by the texture. But this was my first from scratch waffle mix. So if you have any suggestions on how to get fluffier waffles, let me know down below. I'm going to be making waffles for like the next hour, it seems like, but you gotta let these cook a little longer I think because they're dark batter, they look like they're done, but they're not quite. So I haven't quite mastered it yet. This is my fourth waffle, but we will make it happen. This is going in to the freezer. All of these recipes you can prep ahead. You can freeze all of them except for the overnight oats. I don't think that would do very well, but the egg bake is going in the freezer. The muffins are gonna go in the freezer and they all turned out really good. 
Thank you guys so much for cooking along with me. I hope you really liked these uh, different fall recipes. If you try them, tag me on Instagram. I'm at all of this and that. I would love to see what you think of them. And there were some recipes that I didn't get to do that I think are really good. So head to my Pinterest page. It's linked down below um, for even more recipes. And then these recipes will be there as well. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to head to my stories today, Friday, so that you can vote on next week's Vlogtober episode. It's going to be another good one. All right, I will see you next time. Bye.